Hey guys, my name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian and welcome to the video. Today we're going to talk about a scratched eye or a corneal ulcer. I've covered this before, but I kind of want to break it down for you guys because I've seen a handful of bad eyes over the last week or two. And the way I want you to think about it is when you have a scratched eye or a corneal ulcer, you have three kind of corneal ulcers. One, you have the ones that they're going to get better. Like you're going to do antibiotic eye drops. They're going to get better in about three to five days, maybe a week. It's going to get better. Then you have the corneal ulcers that are indolent that don't want to get better because they try to heal and they fail to heal. And then you have the ones that are really, really bad, like the melting ulcers, the desmetaceles, the ones that are really deep, and the ones that you're really scared about. This is how you should address all three of them with the help of your veterinarian. Number one, you have the uncomplicated ulcer in a doggy. This means you're going to do an antibiotic eye drop. You may even do some lubrication for the eye. It's a simple scratch on the eye, the cornea, which is the outermost layer of the eye. And when you treat it, it goes away because the epithelium of the cornea grows across and it heals quite quickly. Now, this is itchy. It is painful. It can cause all kinds of things like um, a constricted pupil or meiosis. It can also cause a red sclera or injected sclera and all these things can be incredibly painful from a simple ulcer. The good news is they heal really quickly. Number two guys is going to be the indolent ulcer. If you wouldn't mind subscribing, liking, and sharing, all those options are free. I greatly appreciate it. These ulcers do not heal no matter what you do. You'll go back into your vet and you'll probably be a little frustrated. You can but it didn't heal Dan. And I'm going to say because it's indolent. They will stain the eye again with a fluorescein stain to confirm it's still there. And they may see the stain kind of run under the, the, the cornea and into the stroma. And that tells them it's indolent or unhealing. In those cases I tend to use my hands like I do in the office a lot. And I say, the ulcer is growing up and not together. In that case, the veterinarian will use a, a Q-tip most likely to rub away the uh, unhealing tissue. They may use um, a needle of some sort, a really small gauge needle to make a grid, or they may even use a diamond tip burr to help remove the outside cornea so it can heal beautifully. A lot of them will use a contact or a third eyelid flap or eye drops regularly to help these heal. And once you clean that cornea ulcer up that's indolent, they do tend to heal quite well. Number three is going to be your really bad ones, guys. Your melting ulcers, your really deep ulcers, your desmetaceles, meaning the eye is about ready to pop. In those cases, you need to see an ophthalmologist like general practitioner, me. I can do eyes. And then next level up is going to be a veterinary eye doctor. And those people, those veterinarians are most likely going to do a conjunctival graft where they take the conjunctiva and they pull it over to hide the defect and help it to heal. Also guys, if that does fail, the eye needs to be removed with any nucleation because if the eye ruptures or if we have a melting ulcer that's unhealable, unhealable, unable to heal. In those cases, guys, removing the eye will remove the pain, remove the infection, and give the doggy a much better quality of life.